Hi everybody, um, in some of my videos I've said that I prefer mechanical scales over electronic scales. Um, right now I'd like to show everyone why actually. Um, electronic scales, I mean, I think some of them are, are okay. Um, this one in particular is a cheaper one, it's the GS series. Um, it's called the GS1500 that uh, Hornady uh, puts with their uh, classic kits. Um, and by the way, Hornady, I think Hornady's a great company. They make some really great products. I've got a lot of Hornady stuff. I shoot um, exclusively uh, Hornady bullets. I mean, that's what I load. So um, this is no dig on Hornady whatsoever. But um, I find that uh, a lot of forums uh, say the same thing about many other electronic scales. So what I wanted to do is demonstrate why. And it's all about what we call creep. So I wanna, uh, I'm gonna turn this scale on and it's gonna auto zero, so it'll it'll show um, on the readout 0.0, .0 grains right here. Um, of course, I do have mine set up for grains uh, for obvious reasons. I have a uh, a bullet here that I know for a fact I've I've got a, a, a calibrated RCBS 505 mechanical scale, and it is uh, this bullet actually it's a 168 grain 30 caliber uh, Bowtail hollow point, but it is uh it actually comes in at 167.9 grains and so uh, at first i want to show you i'm, I'm again i'm going gonna, I'm gonna to push the tear weight on this just to re-zero it um, and i'm going to set this bullet right in the center okay as you can tell it's uh right now it's it's already saying 168 well there you go 167 grain 167.9 grains um again the the 505 does say 167.9 and I'm going to sit here and uh, watch this for a little while. I'll keep the camera on it. and I may speed the video up a little bit, um, but uh, you'll be able to see the, the creep that happens. As you can see right there, it just jumped to 168. And nothing's been done to this. Uh, I haven't switched bullets out. Um, nothing, obviously. Um, if you notice right there, uh, if you keep your eyes on that uh, display, it's it's bouncing. See, so it, it, it just timed out. But it was bouncing um, from 168 um, uh, even to 168.1. Um, I've had these this particular scale, um, when I'm doing powder measurements, um, go up to 3 to 4 uh, tenths off on the uh, the measurement. So as you can imagine when you're measuring powder that could throw your measurement uh, you know three to four tenths off and that can be a problem because if you're setting it close to your max load um, you could be way over or way under you know hopefully you're way under but um, thank you for watching um, I've got uh, another video out there uh, explaining the setup on a, on a mechanical scale um, check that one out I've got an intro um, series that I'd, I'd love to have you check out. Um, thank you very much for watching and have a great day.